Hello YouTubers, I'm taking a slight break from the Panasonic tests at the moment just to give you guys an update on the Ask Kodak video that I did. I'm also testing out my new little mic jimmy rig so I'm just to see how the sound fares compared to the other mics that I've used in the past. Okay, so I have been haranguing um, Martin, which is my contact at Kodak, for the last couple of weeks because you know basically I've been trying to get an answer out of him as far as the questions and answers are concerned and the poor guy is, is just I mean he's been really good really because I sense you guys want the, the answers because basically you asked me and so then I then pass that on to Martin um, and you know I sort of trying to get an answer for you guys because you want to know what's happening next so I got an email from Martin yesterday in regards to the Ask Kodak video and basically what the guys in the States are trying to do they're trying to figure out which is the best way to answer the questions that we've put across now Martin did say to me that they might do a video response whether they do or not, he's not sure. But he has been asking them to give give him something so that he can come back to me and say, yeah, you know, this is this, that and the other. And I think because of them being busy in various different workloads and stuff like that, it is, it is taking its time to get any answers back from them. So what I would say to you guys is, please bear with me. Um, I know it is frustrating... Um, to be sitting and waiting, especially because there were some issues, specific issues, about the various different Kodak cameras, and you guys want answers to those questions. I just want to reassure you that Kodak is on it. They are trying to sort it out, and basically we've just got to be a little bit more patient. As soon as I find out, I will do a video to let you guys know what's going on. But until that time, please be patient and... You know, we'll we'll get some answers for this for our questions. Well, at least I hope we will. So there you go. That's my little update. Um, I hope you're enjoying the Panasonic tests. Um, again, I would recommend that if you have the Play Touch, then upgrade to the 1.18 firmware because it does improve the sound volume level. Also, I have noticed that people have been saying about the green pixel problem on the Play Sport. I have mentioned that to Martin and I am sort of waiting to get some response back from him about it because I have that on mine personally so it would be nice to see what the fix for it would be um, if there is an easy fix so just bear with me and I'll try and get some answers out of Kodak and in regards to all that I've mentioned in this video there you go um, hope you're having a good day and I'll do some more later on okie dokie bye bye